two good things. Right, umbrella for sure. We're going to see some rain. We're going to see some wind. So you'll have to hold on to that umbrella pretty tightly as the wind may try to carry it away. Especially those winds will be increasing as we head towards evening, and they're going to stay up tonight too. Here's live Doppler 2 HD. You can see that rain spreading into our southern counties. Butler, Warren, Clinton County seeing some light, steady rain. As you are in Preble County and over in Wayne County, Indiana, we've had a few sprinkles into Montgomery County here, but it's not very steady. We kind of get a sprinkle and then a break, and then maybe another sprinkle. Green County starting to see some moisture. As as well. So we're starting to see the tip of the iceberg here. A wider view shows that that rain extends well down to the south. So as we get into the day, it's going to be a steady rain for a good part of today. And especially as we get into tonight, that rain is going to increase in intensity. So we are going to see uh, pretty much a nice soaking between now and tomorrow. 46 for your drive to work. As we head into the afternoon, we're only going to top out in the 50s. Uh, so 56 for the drive home at 5 with steady rain and becoming heavier in the evening. We're going to drop down to 55. It's also going to be breezy that east wind 10 to 15. It's 47 now, east breeze at 10. That does give us a wind chill already of 42. And Future Track has the rain in the southern half of the Miami Valley initially, but it does spread north as the day goes on. You can see at noon it's lifted up along a north of 70. And then area wide by the time we get to that drive home later today, 4, 5, 6 o'clock. And it's a steady rain. And it's going to continue through the overnight hours. Even some heavier pockets are going to come through. As we start Wednesday, too, we're going to have the potential for some heavy rain around 7 o'clock in the morning. So tomorrow's commute to work, uh, kind of messy here with the maybe reduced visibility and some leaves on the ground, making things a little extra slick with that rain. Uh, so then we see it continue to taper off through the afternoon. Here's 3 o'clock. Becoming a little bit more scattered, but we still have the chance of a few showers and even a rumble of thunder through the day on Wednesday. So it does look like a soaker for the area between now and Wednesday night. And how much rain are we going to get? Well, we're going to get quite a bit. It's the remnants of Patricia, all that tropical moisture working northward, anywhere from one to two inches forecast, uh, where we see the purple shading, and then maybe a little bit less on the outside of that. But uh, again, you can just see that the whole area is going to get a nice soaking. Up to 58, breezy, cool, with rain developing today. It will fall steady at times, and then some heavier downpours will be possible tonight as we drop to 53. It will still be breezy tonight and expect windy conditions right through tomorrow with a high near 66. It'll be a little warmer, but we do have the chance for some scattered showers and even a thunderstorm as we head into Wednesday afternoon. It's going to be drying out for Thursday and Friday. Temperatures just a touch cooler. We'll see highs in the 50s. And then heading on into our upcoming weekend, Saturday will be a little bit warmer, near 60. So for trick or treaters, mostly cloudy with temperatures dropping down to 55 degrees during the evening. There is that 20% chance we'll see a spotty shower, but a lot a lot of spots will not. And then we head into Saturday night and Sunday. Don't forget to change the clocks back one hour for daylight saving time. Comes